500 530 students are graduating this spring from Polk State College in Winter Haven. In this semester's graduating class, more than half a century separates the oldest graduate from the youngest. New tonight, our Ryan Race introduces you to some unconventional students. I thought, well, it's time to go back. If you need some motivation to head back to school, look up Shirley Keller. Well, my children are getting so well educated, I thought I might catch up with them. At 82 years old, she will be the oldest ever to graduate from Polk State College this week in Winter Haven. In the same class, the youngest grad, 17-year-old Hannah Long. Not many people can say they graduated high school with their AA, so it's really awesome opportunity. While Hannah and Shirley both share similar goals and value education, they couldn't be more different. Hannah, for example, has grown up attached to her cell phone. Shirley has never even owned one. Think of it this way. Shirley was born in the 1930s when Herbert Hoover was president. Hannah came into this world 65 years later when Clinton held office. Her earliest memory of a world event, 9-11, when she was just four. Shirley's first memory is Pearl Harbor. I remember how shocked my family were. Shirley went to college after high school but dropped out to raise a family. Okay. A half century later, she's back, now getting fitted in a cap and gown and about to earn an Associates of Arts degree. Your life will be fuller the better educated you are because you'll have more interests to fill your life. Words to live by for this girl young enough to be Shirley's granddaughter. Being a teacher is basically what I've always wanted to do. And wise enough to take her advice. <laughs> do everything you want to do while you're young. When you get old, first your knee goes and then your foot goes. In Winter Haven, Ryan Raish, ABC Action News. You want to do all while you're young.